What's up, everybody? Name code Dustin here, Fancy Smack Talk. This is our bi weekly baseball show on the first take you did the wrong sleep. <laughs> so, before we get into who you should be picking up and all answering those forum questions, Dustin's got a little bit of a rant for you. So, this year has proven one of the philosophies that we've always kind of had, and that's don't pay a high price for saves in the draft. You know, I, I believe in getting at least one really solid closer in the draft and then going after some guys in the later rounds. And then just paying really close attention at the beginning of the season to see if you can find one of those diamond in the rough guys. But this year has been insane as far as how many closer roles have swapped. So, you know, just a little bit of strategy for next year and just for all the future seasons. Don't pay huge price tags for saves in the draft. Get one guy if you want to, but don't use you know two or three mid-round picks on closers. Just pay real close attention. You know, Kenley Jansen type situations. We talked about him a couple of weeks ago. He's taking over out in, with the Dodgers. He might be a top five closer from here on out. Just pay really close attention. Be willing to take a gamble on a guy, pick him up a little bit before the switch happens, and don't pay top dollar in the draft. An interesting stat on that as well is the opening day closers will only account for, I think something that's right around 50% of all of the saves for the year. So clearly, guys get hurt, there's switches and whatnot, so it's just something to, a little fact for it as well. I don't know if it's a fact, because you had no clue. Sort of, number it's, was, it's an estimate. Something like that. A number, a stat. Sort of, it's a name code stat. All right, let's talk about that waiver wire, and guys that we feel should be added in pretty much all leagues. And quick FYI, this is just a portion of the list. I'm going to talk about two bats first. First one's Alan Craig of the Cardinals. We love this kid. He's got multiple position eligibility. He's off to a great start this year. And last year, he was, you know, he had 200 at bats only. But if you extrapolate that into a 600 bat season, he would have ended the year with 33 home runs, 120 RBIs, 15 bags, making him the top second baseman in fantasy baseball. Sick numbers. Clearly, we don't think he's going to do that. But also, clearly, the upside is there. Next bat I'm going to talk about is Alejandro De Aza of the Chicago White Sox, owned in 60% of leagues. This is an outfielder we really liked coming into the year, and he started off pretty slow. But over the last two weeks, he's batting 315, he's got three bags, and on the year, he has three home runs and a total of five bags. So you're getting that speed power combo out of him, which is great for any fantasy league. All right, let's talk about a couple of arms. First guy I'm going to talk about is Broxton, Kansas City closer. You know, two bad years in a row after being one of the top closers a few years ago. You know, a lot of people weren't necessarily trusting him at the beginning of the year, including myself. But at this point, he needs to be owned in more leagues. Only on 65% of leagues. He has an ERA under two, already seven saves. Pick him up and just see if he can keep this guy, keep if he can keep this pace up. Next guy I'm gonna talk about is Drew Smiley. I love his name. How can you say his name without without smiling? Uh, only on 30% of leagues. <laughs> he was great in the minors. He's been great in the majors so far. He plays for a good team. He's going to get a lot of run support. I don't see what the problem is. I don't see why he's not owned in more leagues. Pick him up if he's available. All right, let's talk about deeper leagues. I'm laughing at you. I'm not smiling because of his name. First, we're going to start with Pedro Alvarez of the Pittsburgh Pirates. You know, this guy was a high draft pick. Then he's kind of been a bust, and everyone was really down on him. This year, he started off slow again, but over the last two weeks, batting 303 home runs, 9 RBIs, it's time to scoop him up, especially if you're in deeper leagues. Gotta love with that third base eligibility. Got another relief pitcher for you, and that's Addison Reed for the White Sox. We really liked him coming into the year, and he's pitched great. No earned runs so far, decent K counts, but he still can't quite move into that closer role. But Chris Sale is going to get an MRI on his elbow. They're not necessarily too worried about the results that they're going to get, but if they do get bad results, I think it's going to be Reed's chance to finally pitch in the ninth, and if he does, he has top 10 closer potential. Next we got Jed Lowry, third base shortstop eligibility. So if you're in a league with middle infield, corner infield positions, you know, this guy can pretty much slot in anywhere. And he's playing great, batting over 300 slightly, 301, four home runs, 12 RBIs. It's time to grab him whenever if you need help at either of those positions. I'm talking about a lot of relief pitchers. I got another one for you for the Angels, and that's Ernesto Frieri. Only on 20% of leagues. I'm not really buying Scott Downs. Walden obviously has pitched terrible so far this year. They just traded for this guy. He's got great stuff. 24 Ks and 14 innings. I think he has a chance to eventually take over that role if Walden continues to, to struggle. And if Downs, I, like I said, I'm not really trusting him. I like this guy's upside. I think he's worth, worth an ad. 
All right, and the last guy we're gonna be talking about in deeper leagues is Jeff Samarja. And that's right, that's the former Notre Dame wide receiver turned piss starting pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. Owned in 50% of leagues, he always gets a little bit of a bump because everyone remembers him from the football days. But this year, he's been pitching really good. In 38 innings, he's got a three, about roughly a three ERA. He's got a whip of 1.19, but you gotta love this. He's got 39 Ks, so only 12 walks on the season. So he's striking out batters when he needs to. Another thing I like about him is it looks like he just came from the movie Days and Confused. Check you later. Check you later. Oh, the young quote. kids don't even know. Watch it. Rent that or get it on Netflix or whatever we're doing these and days. And one guy to keep an eye on is Tony Campana for uh, the Cubs. Only on 15% of leagues. He has potential to bat for average, but here's the thing with him. He has some crazy speed. Last year in 143 at-bats, he had 24 steals. This year in 50 at-bats... He has seven steals already. I mean, if this guy gets a full season of at-bats, I think he probably leads the league. So if you need help with steals, he's your guy. Boom! Forum question time. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, first one comes from K Durant 357 Josh Hamilton's hot right now. Is it time to sell him? In some cases, I say yes. Hamilton for Albert Pujols or Hamilton for Fielder? Should he take one of these trades? Well, first off, you gotta really, it's really based on the rest of your team. If you need help at first base, then you know what, Hamilton for King Albert, you gotta do the deal. I know Hamilton's playing great, Albert's down, but he's still pull off, he's gonna be a beast. Even if you need help at first, though, we're not saying necessarily do this for Fielder at this point. Hamilton is on such a ridiculous tear. We're always scared about the injury, but at this point, he's your problem to worry about, but it's a great problem to have. All right, Dustin, Dave B wants to know, should you drop Downs or, Frier or Frieri for Reed? I think you should drop Downs for Reed. I just think that there's way more upside there. You already got who I think is going to be the long-term Angels closer. Go ahead and drop Downs. I don't see a ton of upside there. And I think Reed could potentially be the long-term White Sox closer. So I think with Frieri and Reed, you have way more upside there than you do by just holding on to the committee of the Angels closer, whatever you want to call it right now. So this is the it for our bi-weekly show. Like Brent said earlier, that's just a portion of the waiver wire from earlier. If you want to see the full list, get onto the website. As always, get into the forums. Check out our homepage if you want to see how to get one of these fancy shirts. Sleeve print on the right sleeve. Sleeve prints. I'm Dustin. This is Nameco. Check you later. We'll check you later. Check you later. Couple weeks. See you in the forums. Thank you.